Well, we like to do things differently on Camilla and I, and this is wildlife photography in a bag. The other day, Camilla and I were photographing a pale buzzard near Salisbury, Wiltshire, in this very spot. And this beauty turned up top left, a reasonable distance away, and I believe we were not spotted. And of course we had the ultimate combination on, the Sony A1 600mm Siru 5 legs and the gimbal head PH30. And I obtained some good video of the Merlin, but no stills. The Merlin was actually mobbed by a male kestrel before it flew off. And also, while in this very position, just as I was thinking of packing up, a male sparrowhawk flew over my head and down the fence line. How amazing is that? So needless to say, we are back, but this time we're undercover using the bag hide, the cotton carrier bag hide. We've changed legs to the lighter C23204 camo ones and we're using the video head, not the gimbal head. But of course we've still got our ultimate combination on the Sony A1 with the 600mm and we're set wide open at f4 because it's in the valley here it's a little bit darker and we're going to start with one two thousandth of a second just in case we get some action like that interaction between the merlin and the kestrel so needless to say we're not giving up this spot uh, a location literally 10 minutes away from my home Anyway, somebody asked me the other day, don't you get bored waiting for action to happen? And well, I thought, well, you're actually concentrating and focusing so hard at times, it's time just flies away. And um, although I'm not a birder, I'm a photographer, there's plenty to think about. And I was actually thinking of something the other day, how birders always refer to birds by sort of secret code they have, sort of club membership, a sort of um, oh, secret society. Anyway, they have this sort of language amongst themselves. For example, an SEO is a short-eared owl. Well, you see, in my day, SEO stood for Senior Executive Officer in the Civil Service. My uh, uncle was one, Uncle Reg. But now this is birder speak, um, SEO, yeah, short-eared owl, or just a shorty. Um, I can understand that. You learn, for example, a ringtail is not a bird with a bell on its tail. It's a female hen harrier with a distinguishing white ring around its tail, identifying it at a distance. Cool, hey? Anyway, the first one the bird has caught me out with was LRP, which is actually a little wading bird, the little ringed plover. A quick appeal to birders from a photographer. If we're in the hide together, can you let us in? on the secret lingo before we embarrass ourselves in the hide. That'd be great, thanks. Anyway, yeah, let me know in the comments if you've had any embarrassing episodes with birders as uh, you haven't got a clue what bird they're looking at because they're using some secret lingo. So uh, anyway, yeah, I, I never find it boring in a bag. There's always something to do.
entire flock of corn bunting by the looks at. So yeah, we've got an entire lot of corn bunting in. Oh, we've got something flying over. It's a red kite. Okay, yeah, so you never get bored. You're always on your toes when you're in this situation. And uh, yeah, let's come back for another sweep. Uh, oh, it's going away now. It's going away. So, some of the practicalities of wildlife photography in the bag. This is a problem with a bag hide because you stick your head in the little section here, which um, you may see is it's sort of like there's a little little skull cap for you to pop your head in, and then you can see through this mesh. And that's, of course, the first problem, because you can't actually see properly through the mesh. It actually reduces your visibility by about oh, 20 percent at least. And the other practical element is you lose your peripheral vision. I absolutely rely 100 percent on catching the birds early in flight from the peripheral areas of my vision. They sort of float into view and then I can pick them up nice and early and get Camilla trained in on them. But uh, if you've only got, ooh, what about 120 degrees instead of the usual ooh, 180 plus yeah. limitations of a bag. Say so ideally, I don't use one. But sometimes, like in this position, you just have to. I've got no chance of getting close enough to the Kestrel or the Merlin unless I'm in this hide situation. Oh, it's a yellow hammer, I think. Just got a uh, yellow hammer in the uh, hawthorn bush, I suppose it is. Beautiful. Anyway, obviously oblivious to me, so that's a good sign. This is what you want. And of course you still have to stay reasonably still in a bag hide as well. Because if you don't stay still and quiet, you will be spotted. Beautiful song. As Ludwig was uh, reminding me the other day, first signs of summer. A little bit of bread, no cheese. That distinctive mating call of the yellow hammer. Beautiful. As we get a boom in the background of some more murdering going on on Salisbury Plain. Oh yeah, nice position. Just hopped up on the uh, branch and flew off. Lovely. That buzzard was back. Buzzard was back, and he's gone right over the other side. Don't know whether he saw me or not. Fluffing around too much under the hide. Anyway, just gone right across over the other side of the valley. Just hoping for the appearance of the uh, of the Merlin would be nice. Following that. Uh, Buzzard. Buzzard came from nowhere. I didn't see it, of course, losing the peripheral vision on the right. Just uh, landed in the tree before I even saw it. So, uh, yeah, incredible. Anyway, amazing. Yeah, just got some more action of the female stone chat. Amazing. Lovely little, lovely little bit of footage. Oh, nice. Yeah, good value for money, the stone chat, without a doubt. Beautiful. Well, it's good to see some large flocks of passerines. Corn bunting, starling, and yellow hammer operating in this area. Yeah, no sign of the merlin operating at the moment, though. Mind. Uh, just got the male stone chat again. 
male stone chap posing. Very nice spot that. Almost model like. Don't they go into some good places? Let's take a few stills. Yeah, pick out the best of those. And just because we're in the bag doesn't mean it's easy wildlife photography. I mean, we've been in the bag now for a couple of hours. And uh, yeah, I recommend two pairs of socks. And uh, the old thermals are coming out soon here in the UK. So many a happy hour spent in the bag. Yeah, in the bag wildlife photography. Well, have we got any shots in the bag? Well, got some nice stone chat shots. Definitely got a nice couple of stone chat shots and some lovely footage. And the yellow hammers have been very nice in the trees. But uh, no, nothing tremendous yet. Just a glimpse of the buzzard and a fleeting flyover of a red kite. What we want is one posing like this stone chap at the moment. Posing on a post just a few metres in front of us would be absolutely superb. Anyway, if we get anything else, we'll put it at the end of this video. Wildlife photography in the bag. Goodbye from Camilla and I.